rehabilitation, just have to worry about fucking money decision making, only worry about spending. She worry about. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are we all doing today? Me, I'm feeling absolutely amazing. This is probably the best I've felt all week. I feel great. New channel's doing great. Just dropped the slammer. Clark, a young Clark, embarks on his weekly, his weekly adventure into the deep depths of TikTok. What does he find, ladies and gentlemen? He finds cartoons. Very sexy, very voluptuous cartoon. <laughs> Anyways, we got some heat. We got some heat lined up for today. Um, it's Friday. We can really do some heat. I'm excited about this lineup. I got a three vid lineup today. All looking like slappers. Uh, I don't know. We're going to get it started with this. I've been holding on to this um, for a while now. Jordan Kobe, well, for like a week. <laughs> Jordan Kobe All Star Game 1998. Super tough. This video is long as hell. So we should probably get this started. I need to get my headphones. Uh, how we doing? We all feeling good? We feeling great? I'm feeling great. I hope y'all feeling great. If not, I'm going to make you feel better. I got you by the end of this video. That's what I do. That's what I'm good at. Hey, anyway, hold on. Let me find my. I'm a bougie ass nigga that the Ruby Hall. We pop them like, hey, hey. So don't be acting like I need you. Let's get it started, man. Let's get it started, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Alright, all-star game. Let's get it started. That's a nice little that's a nice little shot. Did you know that Garnett is the highest paid player of all time? I didn't I didn't realize it. There will obviously be other players that will finish with more than him. Sure. But as of right now, he's made the most money out of any player in the NBA. Kobe. Kobe said, I match one real quick. Wide open Shaq already knew what time it was. Yes, sir. Mm. I like this video. I like the quality of this. This is great quality. 1998. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. We got slammers today. We got slammers. We got slammers, bro. Slammers. There's, there's some slammers today. We got some bangers. We, we, we got some bangers. <laughs> Started it by Shaq. A lot of centers don't outlet the ball anymore. That was hot. That was easy too. We like that. But Shaq knows how. You know what I'm saying? Warm him up. Nice little warm up. Electricity is to the team. Nice little warm up. Kobe told us he said that he learned from Earl. Kobe. Mm, tough shot. Mm, I was gonna say. The ultimate key to his long-term success. He looked a little impatient there that last trip down the floor. He's got the ball in his hands again. To Garnett. Back to Kobe. Oh, crazy guy. Garnett. You know, two of the youngest superstars. Keenan O'Brien, each other. Oh, you're going crazy. You're going crazy. You're going stupid. You need to push it up the court and keep pushing it and keep pushing it. When he put his leg up, it's like he froze for the picture real quick. That was good, Cap. <laughs> Dumps it off to Hill. And the reverse isn't there, but Jordan stuffs it home. Now they, they got to push it up. Somebody got to get it Jordan in there. Jordan already knew what that was. He was right there. Yeah, he was right. You can't come down and walk it up right now. But the big guys for the West are, are running back on defense. Everybody else only a spectator. Jason Williams of the Nets checks in. Jordan, baseline, got it. Shot. Have decided not to employ any traps or any double teams. Bryant for three. Mm. I was he say. didn't come here to be bashful. <laughs> How much did you listen to your all-star coaches, I said? I listen to him all the time because I was young and afraid of Kobe Bryant. Plus the foul for Jordan, who now has eight and a chance for nine. Jordan said, I invented that, I invented that fadeaway, boy. If you don't bring your A game, you said that you know that fadeaway you do? He said, you know that fadeaway you do, Kobe. You know that fadeaway you do? That fadeaway you like to do? Yeah, you got that for me. Michael Jordan, but also have the myriad of skills, the outside jumper, the creativity. 
Alright, uh, now I see why this video is 60 minutes long. You're going to show us everything 50 times over. But I'm not mad at that. Man. This quality is crazy. You got to be thinking like, how is this quality this good for 1998? We've been seeing shit way more recently than this in the quality. But selected to start the All Star game. John Havlicek did it a couple of times for the Celtics. Dan Marley once for the Phoenix Suns. Lots of bench players have been voted All Stars, but they played as reserves off the bench in the All Star game. Only three, Havlicek, Marley, and Kobe Bryant have started the game after being sixth men for their teams during the season. Mm. Yeah, he, he has a total package. He has a great understanding of the game, he was a, he started, a great he was history a and the knowledge players? of the game. And Very similar to what Michael Jordan and Grant Hill had when they came into the league. This guy can put it in, and he's got three-point range. I hope he takes one today. Kobe look like he got a lot of bodies, well, man. I think the That's a dangerous Kobe. <laughs> That's a young, dangerous, wild... <laughs> Last couple of years, Van Exel and Rick Smith have really deserved to be here. Kobe Bryant, first quarter, eight points to lead the West in scoring. Kobe, 19 years old. Is this everything you thought it'd be? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely enjoying myself. Uh, this is a top-notch basketball right here, so it's definitely a dream. You're certainly not bashful. You came out firing. <laughs> well, I just wanted to come out and... Uh, you know, be aggressive and you know, try to try to get loose and get within the flow of the game. And you know, Kevin, we talked before the game. He said he's going to help. This video is late. How about man. that 360 yeah. dunk? Tell us about that one. <laughs> I just wanted Whoever sent me this, shout out to you. Something nice. Now you said you'd be nervous. You thought before Somebody the game. Somebody sent me this bag when I still had my no, Twitter. No, once I stepped out there on the court, I, I, just, I got my Twitter back. I, 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 I was at home. You know, playing a game of basketball, and I haven't played in a couple of days, so I thought that home. Just another game, right? Yeah, right. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kobe, we look forward to seeing you back in the game. Bob? Michael, see, now you weren't feeling well when the game started, but once you got out there, you and Kobe going one-on-one, -on -one, it got exciting. He said, oh, you and Kobe. He well, I mean, he's coming at me. I mean, I think that's, that's the approach. I think he's being very, very aggressive, and... Uh, you know, if, it, if I knew someone was sick, certainly the first thing I do, I go out to someone. But yeah, I gotta defend. Myself, you know? like, you gotta play defense you like said I if I knew somebody was sick, first thing I do, that's good. Hey, that's good, cap, Mike. That's good, cap. That, that, that's, what, that's, that's a nice way to point out that you are sick, and, and that's not a good cap. That's good cap. I'm just trying to that's, that's you know, get my legs on the knee. I haven't been near basketball for three or four days, and I haven't been up out of bed for that long. So I mean, uh, I'm not trying to overdo things. And, uh, no, but he's doing the right thing. He's coming at me, which he's supposed to. But I, I, I have to defend myself. Whatever way I go. So the pride factor does count. Oh, yeah, it counts a lot. <laughs> the king is not dead, Bob. <laughs> the thing that I like what's happening here is that the younger guys are making the older guys play. They're competing. They brought their A game. Everybody's stepping up to the challenge, team. and everybody wants to perform here. I too, in this game, they all want to show they've got to handle it. Short and left alone. That's usually not a real good idea. <laughs> and halfway between Milwaukee and Chicago. He said his dreams as a kid was just to go to Division One and be on TV every now and then. Now here he is. I won't give Jordan credit. He definitely is. He definitely has played with a lot of disadvantages. You, you can't. Ooh, ooh, you can't say. You can't say anything about his toughness. If he could go out there and play, he went out there and played. I will give him like seven weeks of Players nowadays are a lot softer. They're missing games a lot more. A lot of Everybody is excited about this showdown between you and Kobe. Now, how do you see it the first half? Well, first of all, I don't consider it a showdown, but I think that, you know, we, we both are trying to do our job to entertain and we're trying to put as hard and not try to isolate ourselves away from the rest of the players. So, I mean, in the mix of that, we will have our, our times where we go one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm not going to try to do it too often because I, I don't want to take away from the other guys being here. But you will not shy away from that isolation. Well, I will defend myself when I get out. Yeah. <laughs> Jim was with Kobe. Jim? All right, thank you very much. You might as well get the response. You're not shying away at all from Michael. You're going after him, aren't you, Kobe? I'm just having fun. I'm having a good time. They really trying to turn the city something. <laughs> so what better way to learn the game than going at him? But you've issued a bit of a challenge, and, and, and he's got his pride up, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, me too. And that's how you play the game. Uh, and that's how I grew up playing the game, and I'm sure he did too, and every play out here as well. So and that's what makes this game interesting. Now, there have been a couple of smiles <laughs> exchanged between you two. Have there been any words? No, no, not yet. Alright, Kobe. Good luck in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> I, why do I feel like he was gonna say something, but then he was like, nah, it's actually that much. It's not this much. And Michael Jordan was absolutely spectacular doing everything during the game. During the timeouts, he would rest, collapse, be carried to the bench by his teammates. You could see the ashen look in his face. 
An incredibly He's inspiring done. performance that day, as great a player as I've ever seen. You yeah, know, Bill, when it comes down to championship play, it's not a matter of your skill, it's, it's a battle of your will. And Michael Jordan's you will in terms yeah. of winning championship games and sure winning championship trophies are stronger than anyone in this league playing today. <laughs> and the ego to match. <laughs> you got the one on one, you see everybody clears up. It's a matter of who the fans wanted to see, like this guy, Kobe Bryant. The starters, at least, are the province of the fans. The reserves voted on by a consensus of each conference's mm. coaches. Good Kobe, who defends Jerry Reynolds, Good who to coach Sacramento, now their director of player personnel, said, look, we accept it's a popularity contest. If you put Little Penny on the ballot... ...star game ever, he recorded a triple-double. So Jordan deserved the MVP, which he also did last year. In the Miller Brewing Company, she donated thousand dollars to the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. Bob, when I talked to Michael before the game in the locker room, and I asked him about all this speculation about what's next and who's next in terms of Kobe Bryant and all the hype, he said it's okay to talk about it, but that's not something you give away. That's something that the player is going to have to go out there and earn. He said that that Kobe Bryant is, is a candidate, but that he's got to let his game define his existence and not <laughs> the hype and the commercials and everything else. He was selling soda and he said, "Word, that sounds cool, but let's see how many let's see how many rings Kobe Bryant. Let's see how many, how many rings and shit Let's see if he can drop 44 in the finals with a goddamn flu. I didn't really walk. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, but he really took the edge to the school on that exchange. Isolated along the baseline to back him down. <laughs> look inside the middle of the hitch and step underneath Kobe. <laughs> That's what Shaq said. <laughs> Kobe for three. Yes, sir. Give him one back. Kobe is much better than creating off his own dribble. So many of these six, seven guys like Grant Hill who can dribble and out on the own rebound. Oh. Oh. Hey, that is some that is some prime ball right there. That's why he's the best. That's why he's the greatest ball of all time. taking a holiday, especially. That's exactly why I said if I was any player in the league, I would want to be Kobe. I would want to do shit like that. I would want to come down on a fast break, do some wild shit, not even think about hitting my teammate. F the teammate. Fuck that dude. You know what I mean? I'm gonna throw this up, and it's probably gonna fall because I'm nice as hell. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Like, don't pass, bro. Don't pass. Don't pass. Passing is overrated. Passing and defense is overrated. If I was to tell anybody to want to play basketball, passing and defense is overrated. It's nice to be able to pass. You know what I mean? The greats can pass. Defense is cool, too. But what's most important What's going to get you to the league, what's going to get you the money, get you the bag. You got to be able to score, goddamn it. You got to be able to score. You need O. You need a lot of O. A lot of O. O on O one O one O one O one O one O. Kobe didn't get to where he was. Boy, not not having all the O in the world. Boy, you got to have all the O. All of it. That's what's most important. Sure, they can stick. You can learn the defense. You can. Sure, Jordan and Kobe both have great defense. But that's that's not why they're the best. It's not the defense. <laughs> what the hell? It's not the passing. What the hell? It's the offense. God damn it! It's the scoring, boys. Score, score. That's all you got to do is know how to score. If you know how to score, you can you can do whatever you want to do. Just score. Who the hell? That's all that matters. Don't let them fool you. They've been trying to fool you, trying to get you to work on all this other shit, all this rebounding. Box out, nah, nah, nah. Boy, boxing out is, 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 is doesn't exist. Boy, boxing out doesn't matter. What the hell? They barely box out in the like, bro. Just score. <laughs> All right, Grant over. I'm done. I'm done. Grant's over. I'm done. My fault. Larry Bird, who could do everything. Kobe really inspired me with that ball. That was some really good ball.
Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that to like try and make a joke or make fun of him. I mean, dead ass. That's what that was. That was ball. And I liked it. It was hot. I would, I would do the same. I would love it. I would love to do that. Imagine if that was Jordan over there. Imagine if Jordan was his teammate. And he would have did that and threw it up and not passed to Jordan. That would have been the greatest ball game move in the history of the world. Look at this. Look at this. He's not even thinking about passing. Hey. Not even think about it. Run to up their advantage to 119 to 96, but the score. Jordan played 27 minutes and he candidate. That's for sick sure. as hell. History. There have been three MVPs off losing teams. Bob Pettit of the Hawks. Coach told me, just tell me when you want to come out. Dr. J in 1977. Magic Johnson in 1990. And it, it was because he stopped working out off the court. He Coach, and I asked Michael what his favorite memory of Larry Bird was. And he went back to the 63-point game in the 86 playoffs, got Michael guarding him in the low post, and Larry just eyes lit up, and he said, I got a little one, I got a little one. Down. Shooting him with his eyes closed, it's tough. He said, all right, I'm done. That's it for me. You sick as hell. Kobe over to congratulate Michael. He's looking for him. There they are. And this may be as close. He said, I see it down the road. There's always the possibility that the Lakers and Bulls could be in the finals. Well, Kobe, you didn't get back in the game the last 18 minutes. And George Carl iced you a little bit. Were you disappointed? No, not really. Uh, I just like to come out here and have some fun. I had my fun. And I was able to rest a little bit. Now, that's Cap. Now, this that's is Cap. Eric. Uh, this Kobe, experience. you're not going to cap me. How much fun was it? You can cap them. It you can cap them. It was incredible. I mean, I was Anybody who believe that, you can cap them. You're not going to cap me. I know Kobe. I know Michael you. Jordan has indicated that Kobe. this might be his last year. How big Kobe, I know you. you. be for you? And how much you're more you learn from A little. Him? It don't really matter because it's an all-star game. You know what I'm saying? You still have one of the high scores. So it don't really matter. You know what I mean? Jordan only had like 22, 20. Whatever. It don't really matter. What was the new thing you But you definitely wanted to go out there and get some more. Of course, yeah, Kobe. That's what you do. That's what you do, Kobe. What the hell? You get buckets. Did he say anything to you? And has the torch kind of been passed tonight? I don't know. I don't know. I think we just you know, went out, played hard, competed a little bit. On what about the torch been passed? What is he talking about? Get his cabin ass. He said, did he, did he, did he sit you down at the throne? It's stupid ass. <laughs> He said, did he, did he court your gesture? Look at that. Okay, get your Game of Thrones head ass. I miss Game of Thrones. He went ahead and gave it to Jordan. Game high. With the flu. We need those. We need those. All right, Michael. No way. If he asks him, if he asks him a question about Kobe. This has to be special for you to win it here in New York. It's special. Uh, I've had some great games here. Uh, the fans have always treated me with the utmost respect. I think uh, to come back here and play in front of the fans here means a lot. This is basketball mecca, and I've enjoyed playing here, and I look forward to hopefully coming back one day. Oh, oh was that a hand? <laughs> <laughs> so for all the fans here, and I'm sure all the fans at home, don't leave. Come on back and play again. Well, I will. I don't have a problem coming back. Honorary, I don't have a problem. All right, congratulations, Michael. All right, let's go over to you, Bob. <laughs> well, just in case you missed that word, he's not committing to anything because he said, honorary, I don't have a problem. I'm... Hell no. So this was a kind of kind of a little bit of an old Michael. He don't look that old, though, honestly. I mean, obviously he came back, but he really don't look that old. He looked like he took a hell of basketball left in him. Anyways, that's gonna do it. That was a, that was a dope video. I like that. That was a dope. That was it was a little drawn out, but I'd rather it be drawn out than too quick. I hate when we watch them sometimes and it'd be fast as hell and it'd be like, whoa, hold on, bro. Like I don't even have a chance to like, you know what I'm saying? Like let me talk my shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, I enjoyed that. We had a few, we had a few good rants. Yeah, you know I mean, got that offense rant in there. Like I said, go check out that other video I dropped on my new channel, uh, TikTok Adventure. Um, I really like that video, and the video I like, the video I'm dropping tomorrow, I might premiere that. I really like that one. And then maybe I'll do a story time this week, or maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, um, that's going to do it. I'm out of here. Like I said, offense, kids. Offense, all right? Offense. Don't let them lie to you. Don't let them offense. Work on your offense. That's that's all you need. That's how you get there. That's how you'll get there. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I run about peace. Okay, watch it, you. <laughs> watch.
at your own risk. I've actually never done one of these. Never. I've never watched one of these. Um, so I know this is really gonna mess me up. 